run out of options yet, and we'll see how this moves. And on Omicron and education, teachers are in, result in, so, in revolt in so many places. Parents are at odds over closing schools and remote learning. You say we're not going to go back to closing schools. You said that just moments ago, uh, yet they're closing in some areas. What do you say to those teachers and principals and parents about school closings? And what can your administration do to help make up for learning loss for students? Well, first of all, I put in perspective the question you asked. Very few schools are closing. Over 95% are still open. So you all phrase the questions when people, I don't think it's deliberate on your part, but you phrase the question when anybody watches this on television, my God, there must be all those schools must be closing. What are we going to do? 95% are still open, number one. Number two, the idea that parents don't think it's important for their children to be in school, and teachers know it as well. That's why we made sure that we had the ability to provide the funding through the Recovery Act, through the act that we, the, the, the first act we passed, to be able to make sure schools were able to be safe. So we have new ventilation systems available for them. We have the way they handle, they scrub down the laboratories and and I mean, the laboratories kids go to to go to the bathroom, uh, cafeterias, buses, et cetera. That, all that money's there. There's billions of dollars made available. That's there. Uh, not every school district has used it as well as it should be used, but it's there. And so in addition to that, there is now another $10 billion for testing of students in the schools. So I, I think as time goes on, it's much more likely you're going to see that number go back up from 95%, back up to 98, 99%. But the, the outfit, or the individuals of the district that says we're not going to be open is always going to get, and I'm not being critical of any of you, it's always going to get front page. It's always going to be the top of the news. But let's put it in perspective. 95, as high as 98% of the schools in America are open, functioning, and capable of doing the job. Um, 